A daredevil Iranian woman has set her sights on becoming the country's next motocross champion. Despite women not in fact being allowed to legally ride on the road, the 26-year-old is determined to establish the country's first female team. Sam Kuchiara reports. The rough and tumble of a male-dominated sport. Banal Shafai dusts herself off and has another go, this time landing perfectly. At this amateur race club in Iran, the 26-year-old does laps around the dirt track. And you'd be forgiven for thinking she was just another one of the boys, until she takes her helmet off. First, I did not know that it was a woman riding until I noticed her hair. Then I found out that she was a woman. It took me by surprise how a woman can be so courageous. I do not have the guts to do such a thing. By day, this daredevil is a qualified accountant. But after hours, she lets her hair down, addicted to the adrenaline. When two days pass and I don't ride my motorcycle, I get really ill. Even the thought of not having a motorcycle someday gives me an awful feeling as if I'm missing something. In Iran, it's illegal for women to ride motorbikes in public. Not long ago, females were also banned from racetracks away from main roads. But Shafai's determination has paid off, managing to get permission from authorities. The country doesn't have a national team for female riders, though, and that's Shafai's next mission. My goal is to inspire women and make them motivated to take up this sport. Together, we can convince the authorities to recognise women's motorcycle racing and Iran could have a women's team of its own in the world. If she's provided with proper equipment, given enough credit and the opportunity to practice different techniques in different racetracks and all, she can definitely make progress. And I see no end to that. She can become number one in Iran in this sport. Shafai's popularity is on the rise, stunned spectators stopping to take photos with her. It's this spirit that keeps her going, determined to one day rev her engine with the world watching on. Sam Kuchiara, ABC News.